Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about I transformer which is a new model created by the researchers at Tengshua University, Beijing. The name is mentioned here. I transformer is nothing but inverted transformer and it is the new development which is well, the most effective model for forecasting the time series data. Now why I transfer, why not a plain vanilla transfer model? Simply because the normal transformer has been known to be not good in handling the, the multivariate data which is the capability of this new model which is I transformer. Now what are the different models which have come recently which I would like you to be aware of. One is lag, gamma or lag, large language, auto, moving average model, time LLM or also known as time GPT model, Kronos and Morai. All these models have almost come in early 2024. Now, what is the difference between a normal plane vanilla transformer and I transformer arch architecture? So this picture shows the basic difference. We can see how transformer differs from the I transformer. So instead of looking at all features at one step, at one time step, it looks at one feature across many time steps. This is done simply by inverting the shape of the input. This way, the attention layer can be learned multivariate correlations and feed forward network encodes the representation of the whole input sequence. Now, what is the architecture of I transformer? The I transformer employs the vanilla encoder and decoder architecture with the embedding, projection, and transformer blocks. From the figure here on the slide, we can see that the building block are the same, but the function is entirely different. Let's now have a closer look at the architecture. Embedding here. First, the input series are independently embedded as tokens. Again, this is like an extreme case of patching where, the, where instead of tokenizing subsequences of the input, the model tokenizes the entire input sequence. Multivariate attention. Then the embeddings are sent to the attention layer where it will learn a multivariate correlation map. This is possible because the inverted model sees each feature as an independent process. As a result, the attention mechanism learns the correlation between the pairs of features, making I transformer especially suitable for multivariate forecasting task. Layer normalization. The output of the attention layer is sent to the normalization layer. In the traditional transformer architecture, the normalization is done for all features at the fixed time stamp. This can introduce interaction noise meaning that the model is learning useless relationships. Plus, it can result in an overly smooth signal. By contrast, since I transform inverts the dimensions, normalization is done across timestamps. This helps the model tackle non stationary series and it reduces the noise in the series. Feed forward network. Finally, the feed forward network or FNN learn a deep representation of the incoming tokens. Again, the, since the shapes are inverted, the multi-year perceptron MLP can learn different temporal properties like periodicity and amplitude. This mimics the capability of MLP based models like NBeats, NHits and TS Mixer projection. From here, it is simply a matter of stacking many blocks composed of attention layer, 
layer normalization feed forum network layer normalization each block learns a different representation of the input series then the output of the stack of blocks is sent through a linear projection step to obtain the final forecast in summary the i transformer is not a new architecture it does not reinvent the transformer it simply applies it on the inverted dimension of the input which allows the model to learn multivariate correlations and capture temporal properties now that we have a deep understanding of the i transformer model let's apply it in the the model for choice or the data for choice thank you very much